Hello, everybody. Welcome back to this new esports stream um, tonight, week eight. And I'm joined here with Mandav. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing today, Connor? I'm doing perfect. I'm so excited for this game that we got coming up for you. It's Valorant, and we're up against Fisher Navy, which is you know one of the best teams in the league right now. So it's going to be Ooh, it's going to be, be an action-packed game. Yeah, it is. So um, let's take a look at the maps that we're going to go up against Fisher Navy on tonight. First being Haven. What do you think about Haven? Our, uh, as our first well you know haven's the standard three site map i mean obviously it's gonna be big you're gonna have options on where you want to go but um i don't think we've seen split actually or yeah. no not very often anyways like we've seen like split is like i think still kind of new we haven't had a lot of games on it so i'm really excited for that more than haven because we have seen haven and pearl a bunch but a split is definitely one of the most things i'm really excited for yeah, Split is not one of the maps that we've been able to see as much as I wish we could have um, so far. But, I mean, we're going to see Pearl as well. Um, not that new, but, I mean, it's still... Yeah, it's it's still around, like, that ball card, ball part of, like, being relatively new. But, obviously, Haven is a three-site, while Split and Pearl are the two-sites. So, uh, obviously, Split and Pearl here, even though they're only two sites, they are, I would say, like, relatively, like, smaller, kind of. Or, or, or sorry, bigger. And Haven's kind of like just more packed in. So that's what I like about Haven. Everything's kind of tight. But for the lineup that we got right now, everything seems to be pretty same here. The only difference here is that they uh, they don't, for the, the smokes, they have an Astra instead of the uh, the standard Omen. So, I mean, obviously, if you're good at Astra, she can be really powerful. Me, personally, I'm more of an Omen guy. I like his blinds, his TP, his ultimate. But, of course, Astra can do pretty pretty well if not more the only difference is is that she doesn't have a blind really and she can stun yeah she has the concussions right um but i i do also favor that omen a little bit more i feel like he has a little bit better of a place in these lineups yeah i feel like he can give like more like aggression if it needs to be you know what i mean yeah. like he can force players out when needed obviously there's a concussion and suck from uh, astra which kind of can do the same thing but if you're blind you can't see and i feel like players just move out of the way more like more often than not yeah she basically kind of functions kind of like a killjoy in the same way when she's being aggressive i feel like and you normally see them both on the site to see so uh, I feel like that's pretty fitting, but we're going to see Snoo drop this bomb here in mid or uh, back at spawn and kind of just wait things out, play for information and picks right now. They do get a good idea of there is at least someone on C, um, and mostly it seems like they're just kind of scouting here, playing it pretty safe. Yeah, SNH right now, kind of taking their time with stuff. Obviously, we see Fisher Navy right now near A lobby. They're all going to be, like, pretty pushed up here. I mean, what, that's three agents there. The blind does come out, and the action is going to start very soon here. Coming up, Logan is going to get that nice headshot. And and uh, Fisher Navy is just going to defend that really well there. Now we're left with Agrin. It's only going to be on 34 HP, and he can't really do much here. I mean, he has his frenzy. It's possible he could get a pick, but it's, it's hard to say. Yeah, he has his dash ready. And Logan... Gonna get that shot there, taking out Agrin and Fisher Navy. Gonna go up one here in the first round. They do get that pistol round. So playing with these better guns, the SMGs, the Ghost, it actually looks like they're kind of saving a little bit more on some players here. Um, but that's just gonna be even more devastating. I feel like when they go for their bonus round, if they do manage to get kills picked up on these SMGs. Yeah, I feel like uh, maybe they're playing a little bit of a hero here. I maybe I spoke too soon, but I mean, right now, obviously they're gonna have their standard buy. They're gonna want to force up. Maybe Logan's just really confident with his sheriff, and he just he just doesn't need it. So, um, but it looks like. Fisher Navy is kind of be, going to be doing the same thing here, having two players push up into uh, a lobby, but SNHU going to a completely different site here with Agrin dashing on site, and they're able to just claim it just like that right away. Yeah, just the aggression coming out there. Ming going to be able to get two, though, with that bullpup. And there is another trade there. Ming getting three kills there. PG going to trade back, though. Bomb was planted, and Hilton back here is going to take this trade here with Logan. <laughs> we'll get that headshot on him there. But then Tuzi coming around. 
will get that ghost wall thing. Well, I mean, this is obviously a round that they can't that um, they can't really get too much of. Obviously, did they get two players here? So their economy is kind of low, especially if they bought something. Ming did buy here, so Ming's economy might be a little bit low. But obviously, they have this win bonus. Um, but one thing that there should be mentioned is that they got plant down. So that's yeah. an old point plus extra creds there. So that's really good for a save here because now if we're looking at the weapons here, we do see Logan with that operator, and that could be a little bit scary here, especially if we know him, he's gonna be on a long there it's it might be a little bit tough for snhu but they're gonna have again standard by all abilities here and this is the round that they need to win of course we still see players from fisher navy having those you know those bonus rounds still but it's really logan that has the strongest weapon there yeah the operator is gonna be deadly possibly in his hands there but we are gonna see kind of the same thing coming out from snoo where they're just looking for information and picks again um Playing a little bit more passive, starting off for the round here, but they are going to scout that garage there with that sonar. Not find anything, but they do have that killjoy in there, so as soon as they step out, you know, Fisher's going to get a lot of information of where they're trying to breach from here. Yeah, Ming's going to hide in that smoke there as they start to push up. There's Sova, Korik getting aggressive here, but Agron's able to get one. Ming may look like she wants to push out a little bit, but Agron does not let that happen as they're able to, uh, to take control of Garage here. This looks like it could be a C push as Peachy, again, is starting to get the smoke. Tuzi being the last one on site, and this push right here is just going to be great for them because now because Agron's going to be holding that corner in, uh, in Garage there, and as they rotate, they're not going to really expect it here. So as they start to push up, it's going to work out really well for them. Yeah, and that concussion over Ooh. trigger discipline. Hilton will be able to trade him out before too much goes wrong there. But they're trying to get this bomb down here. They will plant it kind of default there. And then a blind comes out there. Two picks from Fisher. Peachy will trade back there. But Logan with the operator pushing from around the corner from defender spawn it will be a little bit harder to play this retake with that operator maybe trying to get a gun off the ground here yeah again that operator is a long distance gun it's gonna be really hard to really use until they peak and it just it doesn't look like it's much of a risk operator is too big of a gun here they sh he's he's just gonna go and and take the save on this i mean what else can he really do here there's not a lot what he could really do other than play exits and and when he gets smoked off like that, it's too much of a risk yeah, to really it, push forward. It's kind of weird having the operator on the bonus round too, as well. But I, he will be able to try to save that and carry it over to the next round, where they're going to kind of go toe and toe here in the economy. So um, I think that was probably the smartest play for him to do there. I mean, yeah. Again, now having these, uh, this operator, this is gonna be a put him. This is gonna put him in a lot better hands. Obviously, the creds are still about, uh, about the same here, but most of Fisher Navy now now is actually gonna have better guns. Uh, before they didn't have too many guns, and they did do a lot of damage to SNHU. I mean, they took three players off, but now they're gonna be able to do more, and they're gonna be able to be more confident at it. Um, the only issue is, is that just Tuzi doesn't really have doesn't really have too big of a gun here, reducing him rocking the stinger. I wonder if he's gonna play close or anything like like that. But SNHU kind of going for the same thing a little bit of kind of a play for picks round you know kind of see where we're going and get a feel where everybody's gonna be playing yeah he's jump peeking around these boxes here didn't really play closer um but he will be able to get a lot of information as to who is looking down c long here and i i think he spotted both agar in there and now they're just gonna try to play a little bit slower they're actually getting a lot of pressure drawn towards C right now, and they have the rest of Snoo kind of split around the map right now. I mean, yeah, when you have like when you have players split like this, it's gonna be it's gonna be not a dedicated push, but it looks like they're just playing default here. They want to waste the utilities of a uh, Fisher Navy so that when they push up, they don't have anything to really defend them. We saw that smoke come off from Astra, and they could capitalize on that. But one thing they do not know is that there's literally three of them on site, and Ming is gonna take advantage of that and just wide peek that, or sorry, closely peek that, and we'll get aggroed on that. But the ultimate does come out. The Hunter's Fury will he be able to tag anything. No, but he will be able to hit seed up there for a little bit. And Dory again, just spraying through. I'm not sure if C is really the right move here. 30 seconds left. Yeah, they're just all clumped up there. A lot of spray is going to get some value and damage on the, onto Snoo there. They're all looking a little bit low here. Oh. And oh, and Logan will shut down that push there. That's a point going to Fisher Navy, 3-1. to one. Yeah, that collat there really did a lot of damage to them. I mean, obviously, they had the pull there. made them even more vulnerable. But they stayed at sea for a very long time. It's almost like they wanted to go to sea. But um, as soon as most of Fisher Navy decided to rotate, it just was not 
just was not the best play there because i mean i mean i mean like again that operator it's always deadly on any i mean uh, i feel like for most of these is cba you could use the operator on anywhere of them. I mean, you have them to peak mid, you have them to peak long on both si on both sides. It's just, it's so good on this map. The only issue is this, is trying to retake with it. You can, I, I feel like on this map, it's so hard to retake, but that sun's gonna come out. That's gonna, well, um, not, that's gonna make sure he doesn't use that operator there as they start to push up. Yeah, and now he's gonna push back here, not in heaven, but he does still have an angle here. Is gonna get eaten by that drone there and I don't know if they hit that target, but I don't believe so. But they do know that now he's going to be on site somewhere. He's going to be watching that angle. They're not sure if they really want to take this. Of course, they still have someone on the flank here. That Killjoy Ming getting be able to destroy that turret. And now they're a little bit worried. They're a little bit cautious on where they want to go. And they just they just have to play it safe here. They have to discuss if they want to push this with the operator or if they want to go back to somewhere more safe. Yeah, and maybe just waiting for them to get impatient here, but they're going to start to push around a short here get that jump peak no one is really watching this angle right now but hilton has that dart ready too might be able to use it for some more information their flash goes out and they will be able to spot a few people there that show goes a little bit wide c-dubs akron falling but pg turning him out there has the ghost trying to find something here logan jumping around these boxes with the operator and they will be able to flank him there that's two picks there along with the plant here fisher navy playing retake with about even numbers there just one down hilton getting some poke there ming gonna be able to take out ty taking out hilton too oh. out of the clip peachy will be able to trade him out and now it's now it's a one versus one very sticky situation they're coming close contact very soon but it's just the timing of the looks i mean that was that was a great round that was a great round yeah. I, that was their save I mean, they were using pistols on that and the fact that they're literally able to take up most of fisher navy i mean that's 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 gonna be really good for their economy. I mean, they, they lost the operator there. Uh, actually, I don't know if they picked it up. They did. They Tuesday, did pick up that yeah, operator. Yeah, managed to get that one for Logan. He will be able to keep the operator in this round. But you're right. They just took out a lot of players from Fisher Navy that time, and they did use one ultimate. But their economy is gonna be starting to equalize here between the two. Right. I mean, we're seeing right now. Obviously, Fisher Navy has the upper hand right now. But we do see Logan with those five thousand crits. So he's gonna be able to afford a lot, and even next round too. And uh, like you said, they're starting to equalize. If uh, SNA Juice is keep is still able to knock them down most of the time, it's gonna be really good. But it may still not be good enough because obviously that win round bonus is gonna be everything here. And it looks like right now SNA Juice going for a little bit more of an aggressive aggressive uh, push here. We do see C Dubs in the back, but Dory with the trigger discipline again, just an unclear corner. Just gonna be able to peek out and PG being blind, he's gonna get that three piece on them too. Yeah, Dory getting those three kills will be devastating here. It's just down to Akron here. Using that dash to dodge him. Does manage to get that headshot too. Oh. And taking three before Logan has that operator. Not a bad round there for Snoo either. L literally finding Dory. Like, yeah. like where, where is Dory? Like, literally finding Dory. <laughs> just being in that little area there. Looks like we do have a timeout coming in here. Um, you know, we review things over, see how things are going. Obviously, um, SNG was only held uh, only one one round here. But what do you think that um, things could be like and changed or improved? So I feel like they might try to take a better, um, more like tactical approach to the way that they're actually entering these sites because like that time they kind of just you know they kind of just missed a person not checking that. Angle. Yeah, just be a little bit more like careful and mindful for your angles. Um, but also, they could just focus on maybe if they're not in that right headspace, they could just be like, you know what, just use utility to cover that angle instead, yeah. right? Like, just have it pre-covered. Um, but I, I definitely think the way that they've been playing is kind of equal to Fisher. Fisher's just, you know, making a really strong hold here. I mean, Fisher, obviously, like, obviously we've seen before that their aim has been pretty good. I mean, Logan with that operator, getting those collabs, getting those picks, even just one pick is all they really need to win the round there. It doesn't matter on who, because that operator is super deadly and it'll continue to be like that. I right. mean, that's how it's always going to be. And I feel like when um, SNHU does play default and they're trying to bait out utilities, I feel like they don't bait out too much. Obviously, you have Breach of Stun, but I feel like they don't use the stun too often. They use another person's uh, abilities that may not be as strong, and I think that helps them win when they're trying to retake site. Yeah, for sure. Just kind of more mindful usage of these utilities that they've got. Um, but I, I feel like most of the tactics 
you're probably going to employ them maybe next round after the save here. They're running mostly deagles here. Ooh, Ooh a flick there, trying to find him. Just barely scaring them there. Oh. Ming going to get two there with that concussion. There, we saw that again, that breach concussion, just doing so much. And with that, I mean, they've been able to obviously stun two of them there, and that's already three players down. But now SNHU, they kind of need to start... You know, just figure where they want to go. I feel like their Killjoy has always been switching between A and C. So it's hard to plan where they really want to peak. And Logan as well, just playing on a bunch of different sites and a bunch of different angles. It's yeah. it's more different than traditional ops. I mean, he's playing yeah. very, very unexpected here. Yeah, it's so hard to tell where Logan's going to be because most of the time, we saw him on A twice. But then that one time he was at mid doors and that time he was around C. Right? Yeah. Like, it's just really hard to keep track of where they're actually going to put the operator here. Um, each round they're defending. But Ming looking for the information jump peek. Not going to get anything. He does have his ult too for possible retake there. Dashing onto site there. Will be able to get hit by that paranoia. And now he's kind of flanked around these boxes here. You will get one. Peachy turning him out. Has that concussion. Agron now going to look for picks here. It does get flashed there briefly. Has two jumps. But Peachy got that gun upgrade. Is going to be able to work with that and possibly contest heaven right now i like the angles they're holding but that rolling thunder is going to be a bit of a problem for them here logan wide peeking that will be able to get peachy and then tuzi getting aggran for this retake here for fisher navy yeah, I believe um this was also also another one of uh, SNHU's save round there. Uh, obviously, we saw that gun upgrade. Um, they were playing hero here, so but even so, they were still able to knock off a couple kills, and that's still doing pretty well for them here. Obviously, that rolling thunder helped out a bunch, um, especially especially on the save. But that's like times when you want to use them because when they have a stronghold like that, even though it's like a save, like oh don't use your ultimate, it's a save. It's still worth it because it's still won them the round here, but. I'm wondering to know um, when they'll start to use Ty's Lockdown here. If they use Ty's Lockdown, obviously they get they basically get a free sight. But the issue is that Cloric also has the Hunter's Fury. So if they're able to bait out the Hunter's Fury around and they use the, a Lockdown on the next, that's going to be great. Not to mention Peachy's Ultimate, which can help get information on where players may be playing and just completely teleport to another site if they're all on one. I mean, I, I'm just excited to see how things will work. And Logan, speaking of working, he is going to get that kill on C-dubs. And he's going to he's gonna retreat. I mean, he's just going to basically just rotate after that. I mean, I'm sure he's getting a lot of calls here because now Agron and Hilton are going to be on the attack. Yeah, they're seeing them mostly pushed up their C-long here. And there is the ultimate they're looking for information they will be able to get a little bit on where the people are here on c site and looks like they're not really going to push through that garage there a little too risky and just rotate back around here they got so many people pulled to see for that defense and that smoke's still up it's hard to tell if they're actually rotated or just waiting there patiently and the thing with snoo is they have been and that smoke drops everyone starts rotating over towards c here they will be able to maybe take sight here uncontested and they are checking their ang angles a little bit better right now and they are going to be able to see that there isn't really anyone on a site and hilton gonna hold that cheeky angle there we'll be able to get dory and now they're playing at uh, almost an advantage here they have to play retake with even numbers two kill coming out there and the defender oh. was destroyed too. Logan running with two ultimates here, has his knives out. Hunter's Fury will also come out. That blockade is just devastating here. They get halfway and they're playing completely for time right now. The smoke comes out there. Logan will be able to catch Peachy and Peachy getting Logan, but that's going to be Fisher's round. Yeah, a lot of the ultimates were spent here. I mean, we how many how many ultimates did we see? We saw Jet's ultimate. We, we saw Killjoy's and the Ashtar wall there for yeah. that one round. Uh, the Jet ultimate obviously can be used whenever Logan wants to. I feel like Jet's ultimate. We it's, saw Hunter's Fury too. Those right. Four ultimates. There was there was I, there was yeah. They were able to get the Hunter's Fury. I mean, there was a double lockdown. So I mean, obviously, yeah. like we said before, he was able to get that Hunter's Fury, and luckily. I believe uh, Hilton was able to get uh, their lockdown as well, so they were able to stay on site a little bit longer there, but and things just did not work out because obviously when you're blocked off with that big Astro wall, I mean, you're just, when, as soon as you peek out, everybody's going to know where you're coming from. The barrier gun's going to show first, and it's just it's just game over from that. Yeah, and there's news rolling thunder this time. They will be, be able to clear most of Garage and Sulong, trying to get a push on to possibly see um, not 
too favorable to be there, but Agron will be able to pick up Ming there. Pick for Snoo, and Tuzi just lurking in the back sight here. Does get sprayed at a little bit. Will be able to get hit in and tie. Falling to Cleric there. That's two oh. three players there from Snoo. C Dub's taking the trade here with Logan. Last player standing. And now there's just one player left on Fisher. Turn of events. Now Snoo is in the green here. Getting that flash there on Logan. He is working with the operator. Has that shorty. Will oh. be able to get one there. I don't think the flash. I, I don't know what happened there. No, it didn't. He was at a different angle. So when the flash hit, he was able to retreat at a perfect angle. But this is definitely really scary here. C-Dubs is going to use that utility to make sure he backs off. That's going to give him a little bit of time. I wonder if he knows that he's going to be a little bit on the aggression right now. But Logan seems to be really repositioning on where he's going to be. I mean, he's, Ooh, he's just going to... He's gonna, just going to change where he's going to go, obviously. He has to watch all these different angles. He does see Logan where he is right now. Obviously, the jet smoke comes out. Maybe the fake. Something could happen. The gun upgrade. But he just sprays through the smoke. He just sprays through the smoke. And will he be able to get this? I don't know. It's so oh, close. He will. He will. He 0.67 seconds. Yeah. Oh, my. Such a close round there. Snoo almost going to be able to take that one back, but... Logan getting that clutch play. That was a clutch play from Logan there. Um, and now there's a reason. I mean, there's a reason he's on the op. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Logan is definitely putting in the work, I will say. He's definitely getting these kills. That's shorty, too. I feel like whenever, when, oh, whenever, whenever you have an uh, ultimate, you know, uh, oh, I can't talk. Whenever you have an operator, I feel like you're, you always have a ghost or a sheriff. But he just rocks a shorty. I mean, yeah. he just jumps in there with the shorty. If he doesn't hit, he's able to just dash out of there. So, I mean, whatever he's doing, it's working for him very clearly here. But... I'm really, I'm really interested to see what SNHU is going to do here to make it a little bit different. Because right now, I feel like they've just been doing the same thing over and over again. They hit the same sites. They hit it the same way. Like, are they going to have different lurkers? Are they going to have different flankers? Like, how is it going to work? That's what I want to know. Well, I feel like the last two rounds, they played their their take a little bit, little bit differently. Like with rotations, that flash going to stop Logan from getting anything there. Now, going to hold a little bit closer and Hilton trying to get an angle on him. They're all going to have to run back there after that flash comes out right from the there. breach. But now, I it's kind of weird how they're just going to try to peek this again. Logan trying again, getting just so much utility spin on him there. Will be able to take half of his health and Akron going to find Logan, Clark, and Dory finding picks on Snoo. Two more as well. Hilton trying to trade things out. Will be able to get Dory there. Now lurking on that left side of those boxes. Clark wrapping around here. So tricky is the last player left. We'll be able to get Ming by Chloric. Double peeks him and shuts him down there. Yeah, Chloric and Dory there really putting in the work of holding those sites. I mean, they did phenomenal there. I mean, I can't, I can't even blame them. I mean, they, they, the one was under heaven and the other was literally holding short and they were just able to hit their shots. I mean, yeah. extremely easily. I mean, they, they, they held that pretty well. I believe they knocked four players of SNHU. So they did pretty good there. Um, Obviously now, SNHU are going to be on the save. They're going to have all sheriffs here. And again, Logan on that operator, still on that op. Whether he loses it or not, I feel like no matter what, Fisher Navy is just going to give him that op. I mean, he's just he's just been so good with it. And he's just he just knows what he's doing. Obviously, right now, we see the Killjoy switching sites again. I mean, they, I, they're they always different. And Logan, again, also on B-side here, they're just so different every single time when they play. And I feel like that just makes them so unpredictable because one time they could be flanking and the other time they could be not. And Logan, again, that unpredictableness comes out because now they know where Spike is and they die. I mean, I mean, Hilden was able to get killed right there in the middle window. Yeah, they will pick that one up safely. Oh, it looks like they the do. Window. Yeah. And then now they're going to rotate it around towards A. It's going to be hard, I think, for Agron to get through towards his team there. But Clark will be able to find C-Dubs and Peachy. It's two picks there for Fisher. Now they're they're gonna. It's going to be hard to try to play this here. But oh, Agron trying to find something. Clark will get his third kill there for Fisher's tenth round. Yeah, Fisher Navy pretty, doing pretty well here, being able to hold down stuff. But it is last round. If SNHU is able to squeeze one out a little bit, I think it'll be. I think it'll be pretty well. Obviously, 10-2 is not the best. Nine three nine or nine three is obviously the best time. Obviously, there's a nine three curse, whatever. But it's. Because of that curse, it's because it's in rounds. You lose the two pistols, or if you win one pistol, you're able to get you're able to get it for that third round. But now, if you're only ten two, you're not gonna have that you're not gonna have that advantage as you would as that nine three. So, 
if they are able, if SNHU is able to hold it down pretty well here. I mean, Logan Ooh, again, like just he just figuring out where they're going every single time. He's gonna get that leg on aggro, and he's now their duelist is gonna be an extremely low HP, and he has to push out. He does manage to get like mostly on site here, but oh Logan, my, with that shorty finding two there. That's a big pick. Pulls the knives out as well there, and Hillen's the last one left on site here. We'll be able to take one. Trying to take two, but Logan will get that third there. And 11-1 here for Fisher's half. Logan's putting in the work. That's all I have to say. I mean, that shorty, he got two kills with the shorty in the smoke. I mean, I, dude, I, I, I've never seen the shorty be, like, be used like that well. Yeah. I'm, I'm always seeing ghosts, frenzy, uh, frenzies, um, classic right clicks. But the shorty, I feel like I just haven't seen the shorty being played for so long. And Logan is just able to use that so well. I mean, look at his kills right now. He's died four times. Yeah. Four times in that whole entire time. I mean... I, I, I got to give him some props, like a little bit. Yeah, he is definitely a menace right now on Fisher, <laughs> And I, I feel like when you are on that character with any kind of smoke there, the shorty's just infinitely better there because he was working with the smokes um, after expecting an operator to be in them there. He pulls out that shorty. So Ming going to throw that turret down spot. A couple people possibly watching those mid that mid window there. But the rest of Fisher. Wrapping around A short here, will try to push out onto A here. I think a paranoia went out there from Snoo PG trying to blind them here. Possibly look for an angle to peek here. Agron has that frenzy taking this still will be nice. able to get Ming there. Now just gonna retreat back to the double doors here. And now they're actually kind of rotating back towards B. It's kind of unsure what they're gonna do here. Playing a little bit for picks and information, but Snoo has been winning out in that department so far. Peachy finding Logan. That is going to be a worthwhile pick there from Peachy oh. Dory. Will we be able to get Ty? And now Tuzi is also on the right side here. It's going to be harder and harder the more they encroach on to A site here. But his smoke dropping soon will be an angle somewhere to fire. Clora gonna take a little bit of damage there. Tuzi peeking wide, and Hell will take out Peachy. And see, just drops on down there, able to yeah. get the two of them. I mean, he was up top near Heaven, and he got he got two of them right there. So gonna be able to win that round for them. It's gonna be pretty good here. Now they're gonna be be able on the force. They're gonna get um, more uh, more guns, and it's a much better chance that they're gonna win this. So things are starting to look a little bit better for us, Nature. That's gonna be great. But one thing I do want to mention is that Fisher Navy. And they originally started to push A there for a little bit. I mean, they were going for a hot second, but then as soon as there was a, a flank or a rotate, someone died, they fake rotated and they went back again. I thought that was pretty something, especially on the pistol round two. Again, they always play so different because I feel like traditionally you'd see them rotate to a completely different site, but they go back and it's just the way they play. It's just, it's really nice. I like it a lot. I agree. Yeah. I, I like the way that Fisher plays. It's very like methodic and calculated, I feel like, but. And they are going to push through B here. Pistols. I don't know if they're going to try to take this here, but definitely try to get a pick here. Hill is going to be able to take out two there with his rifle. Possibly looking for another. C Dubs actually also has a rifle. We'll be able to take out one. Ming getting Hill in there. Mo Aaron has one. Most of the, most of the people on Snoop got rifles here. I mean, yeah, this is the round that they definitely don't want to lose. They don't want to take any chances here. They're going to buy up to the most. We see Tuzi right now with his impeccable aim. Going to hit those headshots, but it's just not enough because C-Dubs with that rifle is going to get him there. And now, because they've had Vandals and they've had these Bulldogs, it's not too big of a difference from a traditional Phantom or a regular Vandal. I will always say this. The Bulldogs burst is so good. It needs to be used more often. I mean, yeah, sure, it has some recoil, but if you hit your headshots with those, it, you're, like, you, you can't you cannot stop it at the bulldog i love the bulldog it's one of, one of one of my favorite guns here but again they're not too far from where fisher navy could be this is still a high chance for them because if they if they lose this here i mean they'll be fine because they have that next round to have that little bit of a bonus because obviously this is this this is their bonus round but the economy will be so terrible for fishing navy everybody's having having 100 credits 200 credits it will be great if they win this round. Yeah, they if they win this round, it could be we could be in store for like a big comeback. I feel like um, trying to just shut down their economy early and then working off that snowball. Especially if you start getting it going, you get that mental right. That is just like oh, 
crap, what are we doing wrong? What, what do we got to fix here? Something's not working anymore. But I like the way that they're playing, just playing really safe so far. Just waiting for maybe a weird pick here. It, I think if Agron gets this pick here, it could be really, really good. Most, they have most most of them are on C right now. I was gonna say most definitely that pick's gonna be great here. We do see that burst come out, and the most of them, I mean, they're just gonna push onto site now. He is able to get Ming there. Ming's been notorious for his kills on his rifles and his stuff here. But now they're gonna be dashing onto site. They're gonna take it. There's only Hilton gonna be able to try and defend that. And he will defend it with the sheriff. Will he be able to get another one? No, he will not. But they're gonna be trying to get this now because Dory is gonna get two picks there on Snoo. No, oh, they're watching heaven now. And there's one person left there, C-dubs will fall. And that is Fisher's 12th round there, match point for this first game. Yeah, match point here. Things are, they're, I think they're still looking okay here. Because obviously now, like I've said before, they do have this gun advantage. They're going to get these guns. They're going to get these rifles. No one's really close to an ultimate. Obviously, Dory's one point away. But I don't think it's too much of an issue to where it's going to be super big here. Um, obviously, I think, I, I, I feel like they still got this. Um... I mean, I mean, most of Fisher Navy has has guns here. They have a lot of they have a lot of material to work with. They, we don't see that operator, thankfully. And that would be a little bit scary here. But they 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 both teams are pretty even. I don't really know what else to say other than I think I think this is this will this round will be the most even round we'll see. Yeah, for sure. And that turret will be able to spot someone in double doors here. Ooh, see <laughs> that flick will be able to get Ming. And that's one pick here for Snoo that they're going to need. Fisher working with four, don't have the bomb down, and are working through mid mostly right now. But the thing is, they don't really have the angles cleared that are like the most deadly, like in Garage there at the double doors. It's, it's hard there, but are going to try to find someone if someone might be sneaking there. They're, they're very dead now, but there was no one from Fisher lurking around that corner now just continuing to watch their angles here fisher might try something through garage here they are bringing the spike around and now they i i don't know what utility they kind of have to to do this i'm not really sure obviously ty still has his alarm button and his swarm grenade there if, he, if anybody pushes through he's gonna get that notification that people are there so i don't think there's too much to worry about but that blind does come out and they come out onto site here and now he's just been able to defend this all the way from corner yeah, Tuzi will be able to get seed up there. And then Peachy trying to play out there. Ty will be able to get Tuzi. There's just one player left here. It's Akron on Snoo. Going to get some damage there on Logan, but Logan going to take that last kill for the last round in that game for Fisher. 13 2 3. I think Fisher definitely. You know they they, they, they rocked it. I mean, I mean they they did pretty well. I mean they were able to hit their shots. They were able to hold the sides. They were able to use their utilities. I mean they were able to rotate pretty well. I, they played pretty pretty well. I mean I, I don't really know what what else I was saying to that. Obviously SNHU did too. I mean they they were still able to hit um, again kind of kind of do the same thing. But I just just something was off. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just it's something not as uh, not as um, as it normally would be. Yeah yeah. Fisher just really showed like just an incredible game there. Um, and I, I'm looking forward to see how Snoo kind of goes forward in the next map here, split, to try to take the win against uh, Fisher here, try to tie things up, maybe go into the third game there. But before that happens, we're going to take a quick break here as we wait to get into the next map.
Welcome back. After that short little break there, we're going to go into split here. Um, and, I mean, that last map we just saw was, despite, like, the, the score, I thought it was, like, kind of close. Um, but we are going to just hop right into game here and take a look at what they're going to rock on split here. Looks kind of similar uh, from both teams, but the difference is, I mean, we're going to see that fade coming out here from Fisher on attack. It's going to be pretty, pretty vital for their attack, I think, as an initiator there. Yeah, Fisher coming out with a little bit of a more of a different roster here. Um, he, I mean, Logan's going to keep that jet, obviously. Um, Peachy going to switch to Astra for the smokes, and we do see the same Ray Zulis, but Ty on the, on the Killjoy. So, Fisher Navy does not have a Sentinel here. They have two Smokers and two Duelists. I, uh, I, traditionally, I feel like you always have that one Duelist, two Initiators. But um, it looks like for SNHU, they don't have the two Initiators, initiators either. Um, because now they have the double Smokes. Obviously, um, they, they do too. But the Viper on this map is always so good. The, the, the fact that you can put it beforehand, the lineups you can have on it, the Smokes. I mean, this is a map we haven't seen in a hot minute. So I'm really excited to see how they're going to play this. Obviously... Killjoy, I feel like is most traditional on B side here, but we already see that Fisher Navy's Killjoy is gonna be playing in sewers here, and that's I feel like it's a little bit different. But other than that, I'm really excited to see how things will work. SNHU on the defense, and Logan already gonna be pushing up here. With that jitter, C Dubs will be able to spot a lot of people coming through mid here, and a lot of the utility goes out to try to slow them down. But we're gonna get a lot of information out of that. I feel like C Dubs working at the peak there will spray. That right click and get a lot of damage actually oh. that piper spite finishing off ming there will be a big pick there from snoo four players left here oh, oh coming through the vents there they will be able to get to their tie trading out dory now it's a three on three here they have mostly clear access here to a site might catch them on that rotate too that would be Devastating, but they are taking the trades here. Logan gonna be able to get Peachy there with the Sheriff along with C-Dubs. Agron being the last player left there. Logan getting his third kill in the first round of Split goes to Fisher there. Yeah, that angle from Tuzi there is uh, always... Sorry, always a little bit, uh, always a little bit difficult to play around. I mean, it's just it's such a good angle. You can hide yourself, and they have to peek out. And then the people from heaven can shoot them. The people that are in elbow there, they can shoot them because they all need to get rid of that one person there. I mean, Tuzi played that fantastically there. Um, I misspoke in the beginning when I thought um, Fisher Navy's Killjoy was in Raptors. It was it was news. It was it was ours. I I just I was just not using my brain properly here, but. A little bit of a different play here. I mean, most of SNHU is going to be on A site, and right now Hilton's the only one on B. Uh, I'm, I'm not too sure on how much this value this can really bring here, unless they're just trying to play retake on B. I feel like B's retake is not entirely difficult. Um, I could say the same for A here, but uh, I really wonder what their main game plan is going to be because whenever it's a bonus or the second round, they normally just rush things down here, and but this time they're just they're just holding down site. They're just trying to get the read on this. Yeah, just stacking A there and having one person on B to watch. They might get lucky and get it right here. Because they do have their, their Viper wall set up more towards A side. And it is currently up with Viper just standing back, waiting to, for any sound here. Maybe catch a rotate or a lurk. But it does look like they are going to rotate all the way around to A site here. And they might get this, this guess right. Yeah, I mean they're holding it down pretty well. They're not going to give any signs of uh, any signs of defenders here. But as things start to break out very fast, Logan's going to be able to get one, and Tuzi Kalora going to help clean things up here as they start to take side. Ty's going to be left on extremely low HP, and Dory is going to make sure he can't do anything with that. Only left the Hilton now on that 100 HP, but unfortunately only with a pistol and no utility. That round's going to go to Fisher Navy there. I mean they were a little bit, of course, when you're on that second round, it's normally traditional or not traditional but favored to the other person who won the first round when you get that economy i mean oh my god already we're gonna see that operator again from from logan here gonna play those aggressive angles i wonder i wonder if he has a shorty you, you think he has a shorty 
I think he might have a shorty. I don't know if he has. <laughs> yeah, he definitely money. has a shorty. We can we can see it on the screen right there. He's gonna do pretty well with that. I feel like, but oh man, I I'm I'm really excited to see how Logan plays this, especially on Split. I mean, I just haven't seen Split in so long, so I'm really excited to see how things will work out here. But Logan is just gonna hold that angle right away. Peachy is peeking too fast, and he's gonna get that kill. I mean, you just don't expect an operator there on round three, right? Like you expect that to be their bonus round, but they come out with an operator and if they get shut down with that it could be devastating for their economy i mean most definitely that operator is just it costs so much and it does so much it's so much of a trade-off here and it's just it's so important because you can just kill a player in one hit. I mean, everybody knows that the Operator is one of the most strongest guns in the game. Some could argue the Odin. Some could argue the Vandal, the Phantom. But you can get a kill with a body shot on the Operator. And it's just, it's so good for that. But right now, Fisher Navy, they're going to start making their way towards around B Heaven here. playing, Still playing really slow. Even though they're going to have, they have a lot of land right now. They have a lot of this area that they're taking up. They're not making any full commits here. But Z Dubs with a big flank as well. Going to get three strong, strong kills there now it's only left to Logan he has to switch out of that operator and now he just has to hold this here yeah if they all push him here could go a little wrong there they're gonna jump peek that and get the information that he is there so they kind of have a good idea of where he's gonna be where he might go he does pick up that operator no he has the operator no he doesn't he picked up a phantom he's coming back does he get that spike down He's nah. He's just... he, he's gonna save it again. I mean, that operator is way too valuable, especially for Logan. Logan, the person who's been doing so good with the operator, which I feel like I've only seen him use an operator. He's definitely one of the people that 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 has a pass for saving an op here. He he can he can easily use that there. But that was a one wonderful flank from C Dubs there. I mean, getting that completely shut down the play that they were doing. But it also seemed like Fisher Navy didn't know what they wanted to do because last time obviously Ty was set up in raft and um. Uh, in sewers there and um you know they just didn't know where they wanted to go obviously it, there's their positives and odds there but i feel like they just again they just didn't know where they want to go but hopefully they have a better idea where they're gonna go this time obviously uh looks like time might be a little bit more favored here as they start to stack up on a i feel like like the operator isn't as useful here on attack there as it is on defense but they are gonna get um this exact score line i think last map too um, just Ooh. round up, they're just barely dodging that off shot. And they will be able to push out onto A site more. That utility does slow them down a little bit, and they have time to kind of rotate over. They just don't know how many people are committing here. And as they approach, just getting straight on site there, now they kind of have a good idea oh. where their commitment oh. is here. But Hilton will be able to find Quark. And then Tuzi finding Ty will be a pick here, even. For Snoo and Fisher, one apiece. But now we see Logan down in hell there with the operator. It's kind of a weird angle for him to be in. But I I think it's it's mostly looking for yeah people coming out from defender side here. Just might get caught by the operator. Hilton oh. dangerously close there. Sees his arm and will be able to find Hilton. And now they're pushing out through attack. Oh. I see Dubs finding Ming actually. It's even now but the operator still stands there logan gonna miss one there and agron finding dory there one, enemy one person left in that nice. so win there for snoo tying things up here two to two yeah we saw that satchel play come off from agron there messed them up a little bit i thought it was a little bit funny to look at but logan did not hit his shots that round i will say i mean he missed a couple shots and it just worked out in snhu's favor i mean we saw PG with that bulldog there. He was able to do a ton of damage, and that shorty was just not it. I mean, he was, to be fair, he was playing in a pretty weird spot. Yeah, I would say that was that's a pretty vulnerable area. But um, now he doesn't have that anymore. Agron is gonna be the one that could be punishing him. If Agron punishes Logan here, that would be that would be that would be the highlight of this of this match right here. That would be that would be amazing to see. But obviously, now they're gonna be. They're gonna be in debt. They're not gonna have the money for it. They're gonna save up. They're gonna they're gonna basically sacrifice this round. But who knows? They could be sheriff demons. Ooh. Like we we never really know. Sheriff here. demons and knife demons. Logan pulling out those knives might be looking for something in mid here, and they immediately just send out the viper pit. 
to try to deal with this push here and they're just gonna have to spend a long time in here in order to actually push up I don't know if it's exactly worth it. Ooh, getting some information there. That Viper's fight probably would have killed after that concussion, but Logan does dash out there and dashes to safety here. But I don't know if they're going to keep contesting mid with the Sheriff. Oh, like this, but Logan no. Finding Agrin there with the knives. No, that the punish didn't come out. They came out with the knives instead from Logan. The operator is no longer in Agron's possession here, and it looks like things might be. They still haven't decided on where they want to go. Their players are still fairly split up. I mean, their Viper is just hiding in A main, and their Astra again, just in that little area. And it's just, I, 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 I like, I have no idea what they're planning to do here. If they're trying to run down the time, if they're trying to get another pick, I, like, they're what they're doing is so is so different. I feel like. Ooh, Ming holding very close there. Hilton will be able to get him. They spray through to try to find Hilton. Logan will find him and gets his refunds on the Ooh. knife. The right click goes a little wide. C-Dubs will be able to get Logan. And now we see the spike rotating over towards A-side. The Viper also can be close to the spike, but they have Kai on site. The trigger of the alarm oh will go my. out there. Dory finding Kai. They open up the site here with enough time to plant. Snoo is going to have to play retake here with three people on Fisher. One also trying to catch those lurks there. And Dory's going to be left on super low HP here. He's going to be able to... He hit that shot. I mean, that was that was phenomenal there. But their their raise right now is going to be playing a little bit back here. But maybe c does may be able Ooh, to have that before Dory. That's the op. Peachy going to be able to trade him out too. And that's going to give him a little bit of information uh. just enough for 2Z. To get Peachy there, Fisher coming up three to two. I mean, yeah, this was their eco round. This, these, these, they proved that they were they were share of demons. They were able to get that there. I mean, and already we see Logan again with that operator, like again, like I, I, I have no, I have no, I bet you he's. We're just gonna see that the entire time. Other than on the saves, obviously he's just he's just so good at it. But Ty right now, I mean, this is a judge. We haven't seen a judge come out in a hot minute here. If Ty is able to get some nice picks here, that's gonna be wonderful for SNH. It will destroy their economy, not destroy, but it will destroy most. Oh, I mean, Logan has zero credits, so. Um, again, though, they play so slow. They play for picks, or they're just, they play default. They're just going slow. They're not doing anything too big here. We even see Dory right now just spraying through here. We see most of them in mid, but they're not fully committing to anything. They're just waiting for SNHU to get impatient. They're just waiting for them to use their utility, and it's just working out for them in, in, in every way. Yeah, that dog will be able to get some information before it's destroyed there. And Ming, gonna be able to get Agra in there. Some information to where Hilton is comes out here that he's in vents. And then C-Dubs will actually be able to get Ming while he's distracted there with Hilton. And the wall might fall here. Most of them just pushing through mid here are gonna get a little bit further in their push. They don't really have a lot of utility here to just try to deal with Fisher's push. And Cloric just forcing them off further of heaven there with that, that showstopper. Find Peachy there. And Dory finding c -dubs. That's two picks there for Fisher. Fisher four to two up two people here. And Logan finding Hill in there with the operator. Just nasty angle to hold there with the operator. Yeah, it's only down to Ty now. Unfortunately for him, he only has a judge. All he can really do is hope that someone's really playing close, but he is going to get that weapon upgrade. Could be something big, but two is he's just going to hide in that little sneaky corner there and just wait for him to push up. And he's just able to get the kill on that again there. They're going to win this round, and they're going to do... I mean, they're, they're, their economy is pretty, it's pretty booming right now. I mean, uh, SNHU is playing a little bit slow, but... Do not do not fret. They do have ultimates here. Uh, Agron does have that showstopper as well as the... Um, the um, What's the I don't know what the uh, the Astro Ultimate's called, but the the big purple wall, right? They they have that. They can split off site. They're easily able to attack it. Obviously, you can't really hear if someone's planning or defusing. Everything's muffled. You can't shoot through it. But at the same time, Fisher Navy also has that fade ultimate. So I wonder when they're gonna start using more and more ultimates for their push here. Um, if they, I'm, I doubt they'll use it on the save here if they're relatively close. But if they do, this would be a pretty good round to use it. Yeah, for sure. I think that, you know, saving this round is a possibility there. That time, I will be able to pick up a pick on Logan there very early in the round. Yeah, Ty getting Logan there. The Operator Demon here, the, just 
gonna to put a shutdown to that because now most of his teammates have to pick up the slack for him as they start to push out near a side here and ming on the lurk just doing just going near mid and 2z is gonna help clear things out here by clearing out most of the players on a side but c-dubs is gonna strike back and it's just not enough because dory has that phantom and she's just gonna be able to destroy the competition there yeah, oh, the stuff are coming out actually there from Agri. Oh, two even things out here. It's one on one, and he has control of that spike that gets the gun upgrade. Just a one v one here with their Astra has the ultimate. I don't really think it's that useful here in this one on one situation. But ooh, ooh. they pick up the they pick up the spike. They pick up the spike. I don't know if Agri's seen it's gone yet. He does. He notices and yeah. Now it's just a race here over to B site. Yeah, that was, I mean, he used that ultimate there. He got two picks with that. I mean, that was definitely a good time to use it. But now, obviously, it's a 1v1 Ten here. If left. Ming wanted to, they could use the Astro Ball to try and buy time. But I'm not sure if that's really the right play here. I mean, she does have two stars. And with those two stars, you can always do so much here. But it's really difficult. I mean, we already see one being pushed here. I mean, that suck is going to do so much because it just takes them off of the bomb but all ming has to do is wait for him to really push up here because agron is just gonna try and do his best to clear sight because ming could really be anywhere right now this could be really really scary she could you could think Ooh. he's main but no ming just around that box there and he's just able to get the kill on that yeah fish are going up one more point here five to two so far um but that was news eco run they have rifles now um and logan still managed to get, <laughs> still get his operator again um, we'll be working with that once again, and I, I think it's going to be kind of hard here to try to play into what Fisher has. Um, who has two ultimates ready? I don't know exactly how you're going to use that. I mean, Fisher, Fisher also has Fisher. I mean, they also have the Viper's Pit as well. If they're able to get sight there. It's it's really good for them. I mean, actually, yeah, no. If they use the Viper's Pit, um, Ty can counter that with the lockdown there. So that's how they would really capitalize on that. But I'm not sure if they're trying to bait it out from before. Because like we've seen before, the Hunter's Fury can knock down any... Um, any lockdown and that's that counter so i wonder if they're trying to counter that with the viper's pit um but it's a lot of complications to this stuff but that wall is going to be up going to block off a lot of line of sight here as again most of fisher navy again they just like to really run down that timer that's i feel like that's just like the best thing they really want to do just run down that timer and then just push something all at once yeah 100 percent. they've been working with like all of their time that they've been given right and i feel like that's one of the traits of a tactical team here, but Agra and Hilton both going to find picks here in mid. A big, big pick there for, for Sanu. Two players down already on Fisher, And they only traded out one there, so... They're going to continue to just throw utility into mid here. Try to find anything else. And they have the spike towards mid as well. They could push this with their flash, get that blind. They move out here, and now it's going to force towards A side. They do have the Viper scouting out A-side, and notice it's mostly empty here. Also, Logan just rogue on, on B-side here. <laughs> I mean, Logan's going to do whatever he can to get his picks with that Operator. I mean, that's basically his job as a Jet here. Obviously, it's to create space, but getting those little sneaky picks are going to be just as important too here. I wonder if they'll use the Viper Spit here. If they're able to use the Viper Spit, obviously, it's countered, but it still locks down a pretty big uh, site here but obviously they got bombed now logan is making his way over and there could be some conflict very very soon here yeah there's two people coming around this corner here Tuzi and cloric he gets a sight of his arm there and cloric finds peachy just not expecting that second person there both of them holding down the fort gonna even things out here actually in favor of fisher logan finding agron there is just one player left left oh just and unfortunate. That, yeah, that was a hard round there. Fisher going up here 6 2. Yeah, that Viper's Pit did eventually come out there, did lock down that entire area. So it was really confusing where they're going to peek out of. They could have peeked out at Elbow, they could have peeked out near um, Main or wherever really they had they had pretty good control it didn't cover bomb but they don't really need to because they have so many angles where they could come from there but now that that's down um we do see that both astro ultimates are up here we do still see that lockdown i wonder when that will be used because 
you, you can just lock down at site so easily but the issue is if they push up too much they can just break the lockdown as well so it's one of those things where it's like you want to use it but it's also so hard to use it at the same time i feel like you can only really use it for retake this you can't really use it as they're pushing you have to wait for them to get bombed and it's 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 unfortunate really but Right, yeah. it, it's kind of weird how it's a better offense tool than a defense one there yeah. because you, you don't really want to push out if you're trying to hold that angle right, which most of the time you're defending that spike, you are going to want to hold that angle. And Logan, going to come out with an early pick here on Snoo, dropping them four players here. That smoke Ooh. drops there. It's going to take a bullet. And working with these sheriffs here, it's going to be hard, but Hilton just spraying through there, trying to find any damage he can. And it looks like he has, for the most part, Dory or Tusi going to find some damage there on Ty. He has his lock down there, but I don't know if it's really worth, you know, giving up angles to save your life there for your <laughs> ultimate. But um, Dory trying to find the information here. Won't really find that much in Chloric. Is going to be oh, there. The timing. There. The timing. It's just so terrible. We do see that Astro Wall come out as well. And now they have to play retake. they not sure where most of uh, Fisher Navy could really be here. We do see their Viper is going to be slow rotating here. But most of this thing she's going to be through heaven. And I mean, I haven't pushes. I feel like MM push is always just as scary as any other push through B. Yeah, 100%. Especially through that Astro Divide, though. Uh, it, it's going to be so hard, but they have the flash to oh, try to work Ming. with here, and Clark going to find Hilt. Oh, Ming finding C-Dubs and Agron. Oh, Lord, finding that last kill on Ty. They will go up 7-2 here. Yeah, that was that was a cool little trick that Ming did there. Putting that smoke on top, obviously, if you if you have that little one way there, and uh, we also have another timeout coming out here um, from SNH. You know, while we're talking about that, I want to talk about what Ming did for a second. Um, I'm not sure if she was in astral form or not, but for those who don't know, um, when Astra is in again her astral form, her legs will float up. Right. Oh, so yeah. when you're in that little one way area and your legs stick out a little bit, you can go into your astral form and you'll be completely hidden because your legs don't stick up and you'll just be stuck in that smoke there and no one will know you're there. As soon as you hear people drop, you just come out of that form, you come out of the smoke and Ming just like that was able to get most of them there. Even if she yeah. didn't go in astral form, I mean, she just hid in smoke. That's weird. I, 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 yeah, and she was just able to get the three thing. of them. Yeah. That's interesting. Cool, cool bug facts. Yeah, but they will be able to take that round there. And I think a few things Snoo could do. Um, I feel I like mean, they got to stop peeking. I feel like that's just like the biggest thing. Yeah. Obviously, they're on the defense here. Just wait for them. To come to you i i feel like i've seen a lot of aggressive peaks especially through mid through um b side as well you know that's how logan's able to get all those picks there because logan pushes up a little bit but you don't want to peak unless you're sure it's a full commit you know what i mean but yeah 100. i i feel i feel like those are the biggest things right now yeah and fisher's just doing a really good job of exploiting those weaknesses and kind of taking advantage of um these things that they've noticed snoo doing and they, i mean on top of that, right? Like, it's just so hard to play into their offense. They just play in a really weird way, right? Like, it's it's hard to really keep track of a lot of players, where they're going to be and what really, like, you never know what they're going to do next, right? But Fisher, like, more so. Like, I feel like it's just so unpredictable what they're thinking. I mean, most definitely. We see them, most of them, again, right now, going to be huddled towards a main. I mean, normally they have one or two kind of somewhere else but now it's really just the whole team here but they're going to run into ty's traps and ty's traps are going to be just as good as things start to execute really fast here ty has to try and hold this the best as he can but he's behind that sign he will get toozy there and possibly another one but clark will take him out before anything else can happen yeah fish are actually dropping a few people there two people on that push there and Akron going to find cloric there's two people left on fisher for snooze retake now Throwing those paint shells and then try to clear them out towards that dog. That dog will take an off shot. And using the oh. shorty does not work there. Fisher gonna actually drop around to Snoo here. Seven to three. 
Yeah, that shorty does not work out in Logan's favor there. They were able to really come back there. I think that timeout kind of gave him a little midway break. You know, maybe things will start to shape things up and look at things, um, start to start to look towards uh, SNHU here. But again, Logan's still going to get that operator, but Agron is going to counter that. If he has that operator, if the punish happens, I need to see the punish. I need to see yeah. that happen. If that doesn't happen, I'm going to be so sad. Yeah. That, that, that has to happen there. And if he's able to get it, it's going to be pretty good. But it looks like they may be trying to go for a same push, if not something a little bit different here. I mean, tie setups are always so good as well. I mean, having that alarm about the vulnerability, the turret as well, you're always going to get those little bit of chip damage, and that chip damage is going to do so much as well. There's two shorties now. In two shorties. Game. Two shorties. Agron and Logan both got one here with the operator. So, um, I am curious to see whether or not these, if they get the, if they oh, oh, going to just oh. miss them barely there, and Dory going to be able to find Hilton. He's gonna say if they get the the punish with the shorty, that would be that, that would be that would be pretty cool. Yeah. If if Agron's able to get the shorty punish, that'd be awesome there. But Dory sneaking past right pa right past that dog too. I mean, it's gonna be really scary here. We do see Fisher Navy's uh, rays coming out with that showstopper as well, and they're just gonna take most of sight here. But Dory in a very scary situation, but PG catches him nice and well there as they start to retake sight. This is pulling very close there in C dubs. We'll be able to take Clerk out there. Another player, Akron, falling to Tuzi. And now, ooh, Akron gonna find Logan there. And Ming and Logan are left to defend here, especially against that Killjoy. C dubs finding Ming. And now they're gonna have to, yeah. Just defuse that. <laughs> but no, yeah, we finally see that that punish come out. Iron it was able to kill Logan there. So that was that was pretty that was pretty cool to see. We finally finally we finally had that happen. But now they're gonna be a bit of advantage here. I wonder I, does Logan still have enough to buy now? No, he does not. So I if Agron is able to use his op really well here, he's gonna be able to get that line of sight. Not to mention he also has a showstopper. This is last round as well. So uh, they gotta use a lot of ultimates here. That fade ultimate's gonna be good for clearing things, figuring out where people are, and that astral wall is gonna also help them block things off so i wonder when they're going to use that if they're going to use it on the retake if they're going to use it um before they can come out but if they're able to get five seven here that is not a bad spot especially for split i that is a great spot to be in yeah i definitely think five seven is the number we're trying to shoot for here but they're going to get some information where people are here they're going to spot that viper towards a side of defender spawn and now most of Fisher is pushing up through Sewards and mid here. It's going to be hard, and Akron actually finding Tuzi there. It's going to be a pretty pretty good pick there. It's on the other side of most of their team here. Ming now showing themselves will find C-dubs. They're going to get an idea of where Fisher is actually approaching from here. And Logan has that dash ready. Going to jump up there with the knife. Speechy spots him. Is ready to peek that angle there. Logan, though, is going to get Peachy and Hillen finding Ming. Will be another pick there. Fisher, three. Snoo, three. It is all even right now. Bomb is not planted. They have 45 seconds on the clock here to try to do something in that, that one way. It's going to be weird. Dory gets that spike down. It's going to be hard. And the fade ultimate. It's going to just spot so many people here. It's going to be hard. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of trades are happening, I was going to say, but we finally see that showstopper come out as well. That will get Dory, but Cloric and their jet is going to be in the CT area right now. Ty has got his bottom soon and make that call because Logan is going to pop the knives. He's going to dash through. Agron sticking on the defuse here. He'll be able to get his back, but Cloric is also going to trade him out here. And now it's just a 1v1 and Cloric's just going to shoot him right through that box. And he's going to get that kill. Yeah, that's Fisher going up 1-8-4 in that last round. And now... It's Snooze turn. Yeah, it's Snooze turn to go on the attack. See, show them how things are done here. If they're able to, you know, obviously enter in, enter in a lot faster. Because uh, Fisher Navy, they just do things so slow. They just go so slow. If SNH is able to counter that and they go a little bit faster than what they're normally expecting, uh, things will work out very well here. We do see that Viper will come out very, very early. I feel like Fisher Navy would get some idea of where they're going to push. Normally, I feel like. It's weird. I normally, I'm so used to seeing the Viper Wall that blocks the Heaven Wall, but this Viper Wall is different. I mean, um, C-Dubs is, it, it basically cuts off most of sight except for that little sl uh, sliver, um, that extra piece. Um, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, but it's a, it's, it's a weird wall. I don't think I've seen that one. Yeah, I feel like it's a more like attacker side 
while they're I mean you can get access to most of the site there with that wall um but now it's kind of just they're playing for picks N Intel here jump both jump peeking that that corner there Ming hiding back in this like little cubby in the backside of B here it's gonna be kind of tricky if he does manage to kind of spot them out there and get them Ooh, the star goes just blocking out any site here. It's kind of just this slow kind of play. I don't think they're going to play flat fast, like like you were saying. Yeah, maybe, maybe they might do things a little bit different here. Obviously, it's still on the pistol, but that turret will detect Ming there, and that smoke is going to come out very soon from them, or at least that's the hope, because Ming needs to try and do something here as he faces the team of SNHU that starts to push up. And again, I, I don't know about this wall, because they're able to reclaim most of sight, but while that's all happening, Logan and Clark have been putting in the work, but Hilton and Ty have their teams back here, and it's all down to Tuesday. Tuesday's the last one remaining, and he's being seen by multiple players here. That blind does come out, and he just he brings out the knife there. There's not too much what he could really do. Yeah, that was definitely one of the better rounds that Snoo has done there. I, I think they did like execute that pretty good. Um, and they're going to go up here uh, for their, their second round of the half. Will be buying rifles here. They cannot afford to drop any more rounds here to Fisher. Most definitely. If they lose these rounds here, it's it's... It's going to be so terrible because you're just going to save the next and then, then they're at round 10. If, if uh, Theoretically, they're going to be at round 10 and then they're two rounds away from winning. And then if you don't win that round, it's almost it's almost GG at that point. So this is basically one of the biggest rounds you can do here unless they're able to pull something out for their, for their save round. But I personally would not take that risk. I, that's too big of a risk and it's just not worth it here. But it looks like SNHU is going to be playing like Fisher Navy, they're going to be taking it slow. They're going to try and do their best, and they're just going to wait for them to push up because I think that's what they've been doing. We do see Ming maybe activating this turret somewhat soon, but regardless, they're just going slow. They're going to take their time. They don't want to. They don't want to force things. And as that dog comes out, they may be able to sketch out where Logan's going to be. He's going to dash away, and it could be an A push here. But again, not going to fully commit to it. They're just again, it's just so different. On what, on what they may do. We do see most of Fisher Navy. They're going to be towards A here. But Ming is just going to hold this angle here. Will he get this pick on Ty? He will. And that's going to be a bulldog down from him. And now Ming has done his job. So he's just going to rotate back now. Yeah, but they're just going to push him back here. He didn't really get a gun upgrade off that pick there. And trying to just kind of equalize things here. But they won't find anything. And now they're just trying to play slow again. <laughs> any any advantage here, but they're running out of time. They only got 30 seconds on the clock. Yeah, and it looks like Fisher Navy has already rotated here with three of them on site for the most part. C-Dubs is able to get one, but it's still left on low HP. The bomb, the pimp shells are going to be able to visit, uh, sorry, to finish him off. And Tuzi, being the sheriff demon that he is, it's just going to get more. And Dory could be another one here, but Agron won't let that happen. And it's all down to Logan. The notorious Logan, the, the, the operator. Of all, the greatest operator in this game so far. Is he a sheriff demon? I, I'm not sure. I, I think we're about to figure out right now here. Yeah, he has a lot of time here on the bomb still, I feel like. Um, but time is still ticking. So it's going to be hard to just peek all of these angles here without anything. Ooh, ooh Logan going to find Hill in there. And then checking any other sites here. Oh, oh. he will spot him back there. But Agron going to get that third kill. Snoo 6-8. Yeah, it looks like Logan there did not uh, did not get the Sheriff Demon title that maybe he was hoping for there. But now gonna be their both teams are gonna be more on equal terms. Now, unfortunately though, I think that was a pretty big hit to also I mean it wasn't a big hit there. It was their bonus round. But if they were able to come out with some with, with more creds, they'd be pretty, pretty, pretty well off here. But now I feel like things are looking looking pretty well for SNHU. I mean, they're getting their limbs, they're getting their picks, and again and this, both of these teams, just so slow. It's I, I like I like me as a me as a commentator, me as a caster. I want I want to see action. I want I want to see that, but it just it doesn't look like it's going to be optimal for both teams here because they're going to take their time, and those seekers could also very much benefit them uh, if they want to really figure out where they're going to be playing. Yeah, they're playing very slow and careful here. Um, Clark just getting out of there, throwing his paint shells to try to slow them down. Um, oh, dog. Can jump peek there, <laughs> dog. <laughs> but um, yeah, it seems like Snooze mostly playing through mid here. Um, 
I mean, they're kind of just taking their time. They just want to kind of, they, they're exploring the map, you know, they're doing their own thing. They're going to just going to, like, it's, it's so slow. I, I, I hate this. <laughs> they're just, they're, they're taking their time. They want to know where their best spot is to attack. And they don't want to take any chances because Fisher Navy has proved themselves to be able to retake with such low guns yeah. too. And Logan as well with that Vandal. Going to get that, he's going to get one of the uh, SNH2 smokers down. That Seekers does come out. Going to get some more location where anybody can really be right now as they start to take a heaven here. Yeah, they're going to take a heaven here, and I feel like this is going to be a pretty good angle for them. Um, but Logan rocking that handle down there. Oh, incoming aggro in there. Logan will be able to get him, but it's traded out there. It's three on two here. Peachy being the last player, he has on site just hunting down that player from Fisher Dory. And now getting pushed back towards off site here. He might just have to rotate or just. Oh, he gets the spike. Yeah, but Clark will take out pg there fisher going up one more round nine six here yeah unfortunately stuck in that little ct area that's just a spot where you don't want to be i mean there's so many angles and that was one of them there chloric just gonna be able to i mean get that kill i mean i, I get that that area on split um that's that eight that a side ct area so many angles where you can attack them from you can hold if you have control of a heaven they cannot push out out of that ct area unless they have a smoke or like some kind of wall or some kind of flash if you don't have any of those you cannot push out of them it's just it's so hard to get out of there and snhg right now they're playing even more split up than before here but fisher and navy i feel i feel like there's the comp, the way that they've been playing this has been pretty default. They're not peeking stuff. Uh, obviously, they have their Ash right now that is peeking um, Garage here, but they don't have a lot of players peeking 24/7. Obviously, Logan is gonna he's gonna always peek, right? Logan's gonna 24/7 peek. There's no doubt about that. But most of their team is just gonna stay a little bit back here. But SHU starting to creep up a little bit towards a heaven here, and they could play something pretty well if they're able to get these picks here. That's gonna be big because that's gonna give them all of a set. Yeah, we're seeing. It looks like Fisher's just. Yeah, they're just holding so hard here. Oh, and no. Gonna find two there. Unfortunately, gonna stop that push for an A site there. And now they have to really think about where they want to go to because Tuesday just took out two of the members. See what I did there? Tuesday got two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's gonna be able to get that. And now it's it's really where you. It's, it's all down to the marbles. It's all down to time. Honestly, I think a, a heaven to be here could be pretty good. I don't think. It has too many issues here, but Dory is the one that's going to be holding that, but Hilton has PG's back there, but I mean, he only is, he's only left on 21 HP, and Cork is just holding that pretty well, and Ming gets tied, and it's, it's, so, it's so dangerous. It is so dangerous playing this angle here. Hilton being the last player left has to shoot that blast pack. They just know exactly where he is there. Going to take those shots on that rope, too. Tuzi wrapping around, getting his third kill. That's Fisher 10-6. Yeah, there's too many angles, too many things to worry about, too many things that you have to look for, take care of. I mean, it's it's difficult because you don't even know if someone's flanking you. Obviously, in that situation, or I keep saying obviously a lot, but I, I don't think it's really that obvious. But I feel like uh, things could have been saved there. If you're able to save that gun, I, I mean, I keep saying obviously. I don't know why I keep saying obviously, <laughs> but you get more creds, you get you get the you get the gun advantage, and you're overall pretty happy. But this round again. If they're not able to get this round, it's going to suck. It's going to suck. They're going to have to save the next and bet on the match. And this is just going to be terrible for them. So it's SNHU has to go on all cylinders right now and fire as hard as they can. Yeah, it's going to be hard here. But Snoo has the potential to try to bring things back. They're working on mostly even grounds there. Hilton will be able to get Logan with that headshot. That's one pick there. Fisher working with four people here at Hilton. Throwing those blinds through that wall. Gonna mostly work on A side here. They're gonna pick up that bomb Ooh. and start to dedicate here. But Dory holding that oh. weird angle will be able to find C dubs. PG Ming. high fall to Ming there. Ming what? getting two. That's such a big pick there. I'm not only left with two players of SNHU, just Agron and Hilton right now. They have to try and do their best. They gotta put in the work. Dory gonna be left on low HP and Agron. He's going to help get that kill. I mean, it, now it's at the 3v2. It's still definitely possible. But uh, things are so tense right now. It is possible. And they have the utility to try to clear these weird angles. Um, a little bit better to have the boom bot, have that paint shells and stuff. So definitely chucking those back towards, you know, behind the sign here. Um, and... Oh, I feel like it's oh, possible. Oh, no. Ming, holding another angle there. Agron will be able to get him. And now... 
just running towards B side. Gonna try to plant it here before they can actually rotate all the way over. I wonder where he, he, where is he gonna make himself cozy here? Just right next to the spike, maybe? Oh, 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 to take oh! Right there with Uzi, we'll poke him once there. Kind of equal health here between the two of them, oh. but Tuzi will be able to get aggro in there. Oh, yeah, Ming is just Ming's, Ming's just been able to hide in those little corners, hide in those lit just literally just riding around the whole entire whole entire map there. I mean, we saw as they were rotating back, Ming was just uh, slowly, casually walking his way, going through mid and just holding that angle. I mean, they've just been able to just figure out where they're gonna go every single time. Yeah, um, Fisher playing a pretty good game here, and our I mean, it's showing through that scoreline there that they have. But Logan has the operator again. It's going to be difficult. I mean, just pinpointing where he's going to be holding it in the first place with the operator is just so hard. Um, and he's holding. Oh, no. Yeah. Things things could be not for the best here for SNHU if they continue to pick this. Both boom bots explode each other here. But Logan holding this angle is so, it's so devastating. It's so scary to see. He pops his dash. I mean, you never know when you're going to need that. But... This round, is especially, I said last round is important. They're forcing up on this one. I, I'm not sure if they're giving up abilities, if they're trying to do anything different, but this is definitely the round because now they're all at zero credits, 50 credits. Oh, and Logan here, it's just so scary. It's so scary. Like, if they need they need Hilton here to flash them out, to flash them in. Oh, Ooh, Logan. Gonna get a pick on Akron there. Yeah, gonna get that pick there. Gonna turn the turn the tables a little bit towards Fisher and Navy now that they're a player up. But if they're able to get some sneaky kills here, especially on Two Z as he starts to back up, Hilton and um, uh, C Dub's gonna be able to take most of this area here. Ty again, I don't know if he'll peek Logan here, but Logan might peek him. He will leg him, I think. There and Ty's just gonna be left on low HP, and they're both at that point. I don't I don't see a reason to really peek each other there, but they're playing so slow because Hilton is gonna be towards this. Uh, Towards B Heaven right now, and they're kind of—they're just playing—they're playing it safe. That's—that's they are they're playing it safe. That's really all they're doing. Yeah, you really gotta be safe in this situation like this, cause like forcing up and stuff like that, right? Just one wrong step there, and it's just so devastating. And especially with the score line, just gotta be mindful of that. But Clark gonna find Hilt in there, and another two players traded out there. Fisher up four. There will be able to get to match point here, twelve to six. It's not over yet. There's still that one round left, though. Uh, SNHU maybe on. I think they're they they're still able to afford Vandals here. If not, a pretty hefty light buy. And it, it, until that round is over, it's not over. I mean, you never know what could happen. There's three ultimates on SNHU. Fisher Navy may have five, but they're if again if Agron is able to get that showstopper kill like before, if he's able to get these two picks here, things could still go in his way because then you have the lockdown, and then you have the um, the Astral ultimate as well. You're able to take sight. You're able to get them away, and you're able to kill. Them. If those aren't the best ultimates, I don't know what is. SNHU is still definitely in this year, and they could definitely still win this game. They may be at a disadvantage. They may not have the best utility, but they 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 definitely have a strong heart. Yeah. Um. But you know, pushing into sewers here with Dory watching this angle. Oh, he does spot that showstopper there. Hillen also takes Dory out on the retreat there. Just you know, yelling fire in the hole. It just it's turning, it's turning heads, getting picks out here. I'm going to judge. He has a judge. This is going to be scary. This is going to be devastating for Fisher Navy. If he's able to hold this close angle here, that's going to be great for him. Oh, no, but Tuzi reads him too fast there. He's able to get the kill, but Hilton has his back, and Ming will be able to get that kill as well. Logan just coming out with those knives as well. It's only down to Peachy. Is able to get that kill, but it's, it's not strong enough. The knives, Logan, too strong there. Yeah, coming from above there, it's a hard, hard angle to fight there, especially just looking up there. Um, both of them, you know, Snoop put up a really good fight, and they took six Almost rounds. Most definitely. Yeah, they took six rounds here. Um, but, you know, Fisher just had to... I mean, Fisher Navy, definitely want to, we're definitely, definitely, a, definitely a stronger team. I mean, they've been able... I just, I just, I'm just so, like... Like I don't have the games on see and comprehend like what's yeah. like what's happening. I mean they've yeah. just been able to play unexpectedly. They've been able to get reads. They've just been able to use their ultimates or an, an ability so effectively, and they just uh, they've just rocked that so well. Yeah, they just did so good here. But Snoo nonetheless did 
very good themselves and I mean, I mean, I mean yeah they adapted to what they were doing obviously the issue is they kept switching it up Fisher Navy just kept switching up as soon as SNHU got how they were playing they just played an entire different play style every yeah. single time so they were definitely able to adapt to the circumstances they were able to attack from that as well but it just did not work out in the end unfortunately yeah it was hard to play into Fisher there but if you want any more clips or you know when we're gonna have our next game for example tomorrow right Smash Bros right um just make sure to follow us on our socials at Snoo Esports, uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok, and things, stuff like that. So just if you want any more, make sure to check out our socials. Other than that, that's all we got for you tonight. Make sure to tune in tomorrow. Other than that, have a good night. Peace.